Hey guys, I'm Lucas, welcome to KNews19 about the upcoming Atlas V launch. Atlas has many different configurations to cover a whole variety of payloads. This time it is set up as the version 4 to 1, which stands for a 4 meter wide fairing, 2 solid rocket boosters on the core and 1 engine on the upper stage. The payload is Morelos 3, a telecommunication satellite from Mexico. The launch will occur in Cape Canaveral, Florida and is scheduled for Friday morning at 6.08 local time. Atlas will start its pitch and yaw maneuvers at approximately t plus 6 seconds, heading southeast to achieve a 27 degrees inclined geostationary transfer orbit. One reason for this inclination is the launch site location north of the equator which makes achieving a much less inclined orbit directly impossible. Instead, the rocket had to change its inclination during launch above the equator, which is not really efficient, so it is done far outside in space. Morelos 3 is also called Maxet 2 and belongs to the Mexican satellite communication system. Its younger brother, Maxet 1, was launched back in April this year on a proton rocket, an anomaly on the third stage, which led to a rapid unscheduled disassembly, caused the payload to fall back to Earth and get destroyed. Both satellites were built by Boeing and are derived from their 702 high power platform with a deployable 12 meter wide antenna. Such a big dish allows it to receive even weaker signals from mobile users. The farther a signal travels, the more it gets distributed and the weaker it is. This can be compensated by a high power transmitter, which is most likely not possible for mobile users. Another way is to increase the antenna size. The dish focuses the signal onto a spot at the receiver like so. The bigger the dish, the more energy from the signal it can catch and the better the result. After the first engine cutoff from the upper stage, the rocket will coast for two and a half hours and perform its final burn, separating the payload at an approximate orbit of 4800 by 35800 kilometers. From there, the satellite will use its chemical engines to circularize its orbit and change the inclination. Having reached its final destination over Mexico, it will thenceforward use its electric ion drive to hold its orbital position. And this brings us to the end of this episode. But speaking of Atlas V, have you seen the United Launch Alliance recent animation and talk about their smart reusability? Shots being fired against SpaceX and I would like to know what you think about it. I will link their video in my video description. That's it for now and I hope to see you in the next episode if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.